Hi everyone, Colin Haskins here. Very successful entrepreneur, been financially free for over a decade and spending time with my family, sharing some tips with you about creating financial freedom. And on my last video, I talked about creating financial freedom through a business. Well, one business that I get asked about all the time is the business of network marketing. Network marketing. And you know, some people hear the word network marketing and they want to assume that because it's network marketing, business is different or doing a network marketing business is different than operating a traditional business. Well, here's the truth, folks. They're not different. They are exactly the same. And here's what I mean by that. You still need to talk to people. You still need to network in your community. And ultimately, as you network, as you network and as you build relationships, whether it's traditional business or a network marketing business, you're going to generate what? Cash flow. Cash flow. Is cash flow important? Absolutely. Here should be your goal. If you were going to start a network marketing business that was going to generate an ongoing income, the first question you have to ask yourself is what is the number one thing I want this business to produce? Why am I in business? The number one thing it should produce is profit. It has to produce profit. If, it's, if your business isn't generating profits, folks, then it's not a great business. Get out. It has to generate profit. So for me, one of the number one criteria is in order to generate profit with a business is you need to have products, okay, that everybody wants and needs, all right? So number one is products, and then once you have products that everybody wants and needs, which means there's a huge market of people looking for your products, the next question is this, is your product priced to sell at suggested retail? Why is that important? Because if your products are not priced to sell at a suggested retail, putting money in your pocket immediately, Hip National Bank, guys, I'm always talking about Hip National Bank, is if it's not priced that way, then you're technically out of business. That is not a good business model. Why? Because without suggested retail profits in a network marketing company, I'm telling you right now, the law of averages is, is some people are going to have a hard time maybe identifying some partners right out of the gate. And if you can't get them in the black, right out of the gate, making money with your products at a suggested retail, so they're making retail profits, that is a bad business model to generate ongoing income, and you will have a high attrition rate of people quitting your business, and you'll wonder why a year from now, how come you're not making any money? That's my tip on profits and selling products at suggested retail. Absolutely critical in generating an ongoing income, and critical because it's legal. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.